Good morning everyone. We are in Hosegar, France. And as I talked in the previous vlog, I wanted to show you exactly how I write music because so many people ask me, but how do you write a song? And it is really not that hard. And I think a vlog is the best way to, for me to show you how I do this. So I'm gonna do every little step of the process. And uh, the idea is that I'm gonna put the song together today. So that means maybe two, three hours. Mix, master the song, put it out there, and we're gonna do an edit on this song I wrote today. Are you guys ready? So, first step. One thing that people don't consider enough is the location. Because the location, the vibe, makes your song pretty much. Environment is something really important. So first step, environment. Second step is microphone, or let's say having a quick setup. You can set up anywhere and start recording. I use this mic, it's a Zoom H5N. You have left and right. It's like a room mic, but you can record guitar, voice, best mic in the world. And the instrument, so I brought this Nord stage. I always bring my harmonicas because I love harmonica. Cool, so I think we, I showed you pretty much everything I'll put the camera somewhere that it's comfortable and I'll, I'm just gonna show you every little step I do. Here we are on my little movable studio. One thing I also forgot, get some proper headphones. I got the AKG K271. It's really the best headphone. When I record, I use Logic Pro 10. So let's get started. We need a new project. I've got my Mate with me to stay awake. First step, I'm gonna put an audio track. And there is many ways of starting a song. So either you have a melody, you have a song in your head and you just like play, you know. Something like that. Or you can also start, actually really, some really big songwriter showed me once the Apple Loop. Apple Loop is something you go in there, you put instruments and you have old drums. And you can just start with a beat, maybe, you know, acoustic. I know it sounds funny, but you know, like big songs, like Jay-Z, Kanye, they, they recorded songs with this Apple Loop thing. Well, the Apple Loops is an idea, but today I don't, I really don't feel like doing an Apple Loop. So I'm just gonna start working on maybe a guitar thing, put some pads, some keyboards, add a bass, Maybe just put some small drums effect. Today I feel like doing a really vibey, cool song. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's record that first part of the song. Good. From this part on, I can just loop it. Then we can just start with some lyrics, maybe. We are walking on sunshine. We are walking on the moon. It's been a long time. So usually what I do is I write my lyrics on the text edit. So I've got my first lyrics. We've been living in the woods. We've been fighting till the end. It's been a long time coming. We've been hiding from the troops. We've walked miles in the sand. It's been a long time coming. Something like that. I don't. I'm not gonna base too much this uh, this song on the lyrics, since that usually takes me quite more time, you know, to really think about it. And uh, what I'm trying to show you here is just an overall of a song. All right. So since the lyrics is done, I'm just gonna start putting, building up the song software instruments. Then you can edit it in MIDI. For example, you don't like this note, you can just remove it, which is really cool in MIDI. So you don't you don't waste time. You just go straight to the point. But right, so now I've got the pads, the small guitars like this, and I want a second part. We're gonna run this song into an edit. So I'm gonna put a part that moves more. Guys, don't take me wrong. This is not. I'm not saying songwriting is really easy. 
it takes a lot of time i'm just showing you like a quick way to write a song all right so the second part i'm just gonna not thinking too much keep pretty much the same chords change the b with a e and just move from that On this part, I'm gonna add some uh, to put some uh, you know, some intense part. And now I'm gonna move on to the keyboard. I'm gonna put some acoustic classic piano because I love piano. It's my one of my favorite instruments. And I'm gonna put some bass as well. So here it is, the piano. So let's let's record the piano part. Piano recorded. I can't really show you every th every step because I have to take off the headphones and everything, but I'll just keep going through the process and I'll show you the final results. One funny thing for the drums, you have this drummer option. You can put Logic Drummer. So if you play it not too bad on the metronome, it should make you a track. And you can put it, for example, when the beat starts. Oh, it's not too bad, sorry. So, I got the keyboard, I got the piano, I got the, the, the bass, I got the drums, I got the guitar, I've got pretty much the whole song built up. And, um, and um, I'm just gonna work a little bit now on this, start singing the parts. We've been living in love. Oh, this sounds so good, I love it, I love writing new music. Now I'm gonna double the voice in the outro. I still love Something like that. <laughs> uh, so we get almost to the end of the song. Before I end it, I want to add one more little thing, which is some flutes in the song because I think it would match really good. Let's check it out. <laughs> so tight. All right, so I'm done. I'm just gonna call my brother who is in London and has a pretty proper studio. And it's gonna mix and master my song, hopefully answers. So I received bad songs and it sounds pretty good already, actually. So I just changed a couple of things, for example the drums, the bass and the piano. I replaced them with the sample bass instruments, so it sounds more real. And um, yeah, I want to do a lot of stuff, but I don't have much time, actually. So um, I'm just gonna record like one guitar part, because I have to. <laughs> So now it's time to record my guitar. I'm gonna play uh, one rhythm part and one solo. So let's go. <laughs> so now we're gonna double this guitar. Woo! Now it's time to play a massive solo at the end. We'll see if Pat likes it. Alright, so I just did my solo and um, I mixed a little bit and I mastered the song. Uh, so I want to make clear I'm not a professional, I just like doing it because it's fun and I think it's really useful as a musician to know how to kind of do that. So uh, basically, I uh, yeah, everything is done pretty much. So you can check it out.
so we just finished surfing this was such a beautiful session oh my god the sunset was insane insane and uh, I hope you guys like this uh, song review I really wanted to share this with you because it's really important for me to show show you how I write music because this is so deep for me and um, it's a good opportunity for me to show you how that works so now we're just gonna go to the cooling the coolest bar in the world they have a jam session and we're gonna go with some friends we're gonna go there and jam some music in pro it's gonna be fun nice. <laughs> We are in the cooling at the open jam and this is looking fucking great. Look at this. This is the stage. This is the stage. Jump the stage. Ta -da. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. are back home and it is time to say goodbye thank you so much guys for watching it was a true pleasure to show you the way i write songs the way i surf the way we have good times and um we'll see you in the next episodes on a really special one because tomorrow is my birthday and it is a really special day thanks guys again for watching if you like this video give us a thumb up and uh don't forget to subscribe I will see you tomorrow.